Hey, what's up everybody? It's been Homecook Hero back with a new video for y'all and today I have a special one for you. Strawberry Cobbler Crescent Rolls, y'all. This recipe is so, so, so good. I know I always say that, but this one really is, y'all. So if it looks good, y'all, and you into it, sit back and let's go. All right, y'all, so now I am just cleaning off the strawberries I have. This is about two pints of fresh strawberries, and I have them soaking in some cold water and a little bit of vinegar, and that's just to remove any excess dirt or debris or whatever. So yeah, just like rub the strawberries together, let them soak in there for about 10 to 15 minutes or so, and then rinse them off completely so there's no vinegary kind of taste, y'all. Then after that, I am just cutting off the tops of them, as you see, and then slicing them in half. So now I place them into my saucepan and I'm adding in some sugar. That's about a cup of sugar probably all together, uh, three-fourths to a cup of sugar. And then I just pour in a little bit of water, enough to cover the top of them, place them on the stove and let them simmer for about 15 minutes or so. And this is what they should look like after about 15 minutes. Definitely starting to reduce. The sauce has thickened up a little bit and now we're really gonna start building up this like sweet strawberry glaze. As you see, I went in with some butter and I added a little, little bit more butter. And if you saw, I also added about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And now I'm going in with the zest from one whole lemon. And after that, I'm just going to stir everything all together, y'all. And the lemon zest actually kind of like cuts through the fattiness of the butter and the richness of the butter. And, you know, really plays well off of the strawberries. So after that, I'm going in with my slurry. So a little bit of cornstarch mixed with, mixed with water. And that definitely will thicken up the sauce dramatically. You will see in the final product. So after that, y'all just swirled it all together. And then I just set it to the side to cool for like 15 minutes or so. Now for the crescent rolls, I'm just using just a regular store-bought pack of Pillsbury crescent rolls. And I just rolled them all out, got them out of the can. And now I'm just showing you how I like to cut them basically just along the perforated edges. I'm not doing anything crazy or whatever here. But yeah, you know, I just wanna just cut them all off. And after that, we will really start to build up these crescent roll stuff with this strawberry cobbler juiciness. So now we are gonna start to build up the actual crescent rolls. So it's pretty much a similar process to my blackberry cobbler crescent rolls video. Definitely check that out if you haven't seen that already, but it's a pretty similar process. So I'm going in with two slices of strawberries just to have some fresh strawberries up in there as well. And then I'm going in with about a tablespoon of the strawberry cobbler mixture. And you want to try to drain out as much of that liquid as possible because you really want to save all of it for at the end when we pour it all over the top. And then after that, you just want to gently roll it all up together. Make sure it sort of slightly resembles a crescent roll if you if, if you can. But if not, when you bake it, it's still going to all be perfectly fine. It's not. Don't don't get hung up on that. I promise you. So after that, I'm just speeding this up and I do the same for the remaining seven crescent rolls. Then I place them into my medium sized casserole dish lined with or not lined but i sprayed some cooking spray on there and that is what it's looking like y'all and then i'm just going to pour over all of that juicy strawberry just jam just thick luscious jam all over the top And if you can, try not to pour the liquid, I guess, directly on top of the crescent rolls because you want you really want them to like really puff up and everything like that at the end. But I mean, even if you do mess up, it's not really that big of a deal. It is, they'll still like puff right up. And as you see, I'm going in with some fresh strawberries because I just really want to let you know, first and foremost, this is strawberry cobbler. And yeah, just for presentation purposes. So y'all, I placed them into a 375 degree oven for between 20 to 30 minutes. And this is what you should have. It looks so 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 good and y'all this strawberry cobbler is a play off of strawberry cobbler that my mom used to make when we were growing up and we literally live like i guess a minute's drive from this farm that grew strawberries where people would come by and pick them and we used to do that all the time when we were growing up so y'all i really really love strawberry cobbler i could just smell it my mom just simmering the strawberries just like i showed y'all y'all this is definitely a home cooked hero classic meal or dessert or whatever you want to call it y'all <laughs> this stuff is so so good and i am just i i was just i was just loving it i was loving it so so much and y'all also wanted to just kind of amp it up a little bit and of course you know to do that i had to serve it with some what some whipped cream you know you cannot have strawberries without the cream so that's exactly what i put on the top of these y'all 
so 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 good definitely a favorite dessert recipe of mine and then i just drizzle a little bit more of that juice all over the top because i just cannot help myself y'all it was just so irresistible just uh, i don't even know y'all it was just so 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 good and just look at how thick that sauce has really started to get and it's really really clinging to the crescent rolls y'all and of course we got the fresh strawberries on the top that just kind of like just started to bake and soften up a little bit in that oven y'all it is so 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 good it definitely tastes like you just made some homemade strawberry cobbler from scratch y'all i promise you definitely give it a try y'all so y'all if you enjoyed the recipe definitely let me know down below in the comments you can hit that like button and you can even subscribe to the channel y'all for more videos just like this every single week y'all all right y'all see you in the next one later